actually turn to um, a piece that you have written uh, in U.S. News and World Report. It's titled, Reagan Republicans Spare Yourself the Agony uh, of the Trump-Harris Debate. Um, I'm kind of curious. Do you think there is a, uh, a, a universe of Republicans still out there who are not necessarily with Trump and can be persuaded to support Kamala Harris? Or are there just some high profile Republicans like Alberto Gonzalez and the Cheneys who are willing to say, yeah, we support her? Look, I think there's there are people out there. I went to see the Reagan movie. Uh, It's a clear contrast. Uh, If you're watching it and you're living here in 2024, there's a clear contrast with Reagan on things like moral clarity and character versus Donald Trump's behavior. Uh, and his lack of moral clarity and his lack of character. And if you watch that debate, you saw Kamala Harris talking about Ukraine. She sounded like Ronald Reagan. Uh, Donald Trump wouldn't even say whether he wanted Ukraine to win against Russia. So I think if you're someone who's a kind of a never Trump Reagan conservative out there, you maybe you're not keen to vote for a Democrat. Maybe you don't like the idea of voting for Kamala Harris. Uh, But look, Sam, this election is going to come down to was it 2020? I think Joe Biden won uh, by virtue of 45,000 votes in just yep. three states. So we're talking about the margins here. So, yeah, I think everything matters, including getting those Reagan conservatives.